What is up, internet? So it's another great day. Sun is shining, birds are chirping, my computer is still buzzing, which is always good. So today I wanted to talk about something that a lot of people keep asking about on the channel. People keep wanting to know what programs they should learn when it comes to visual effects. That question is a little broad, but I'm gonna to touch on a few that will be helpful just for starters. So before I really get into this video, I just wanna start out by saying you should learn as many, many programs as you can. The more you know, the more value you offer to a prospective employer and the better you are as an artist. If you can jump between programs and you can overcome challenges quicker because you know more things, Believe me, it's gonna help you so much in the long run. Learn as much as you can. Always learn as much as you can. For a beginner, After Effects is always a great place to start. That's where I started. After Effects is something that's widely used. However, the industry standard for compositing and visual effects is Nuke by The Foundry. Now, Nuke is a node-based compositor as opposed to After Effects, which is a layer-based compositor. And the more advanced you get with visual effects, the more companies have proprietary software that is node-based. So having knowledge of node-based software is very important. However, let's say you're a beginner and you start off on After Effects. You can learn all the techniques and concepts in After Effects and translate them over to Nuke. And all you have to do is just learn where the buttons are in Nuke and you've pretty much got it. To learn Nuke, it takes a certain type of brain. There's more math involved than the layer-based compositing in After Effects. Also, After Effects is more geared toward motion graphics than visual effects. You can do a lot of visual effects in it, but I feel like when it comes to versatility, Nuke is better. There are also other compositing software, like the one from HitFilm, I think, and then Fusion by uh, Blackmagic, which is uh, another node-based compositor. All good options to know. Now on the 3D side, the industry standard is Maya for visual effects. Photoreal creatures, destruction, particle simulation, fire, that kind of thing. So definitely start learning Maya if that's kind of your thing. But Maya is also used for cartoon animation and things like that. It's not limited to visual effects. All 3D programs are roughly the same. I think under Maya is 3ds Max for visual effects. 3ds Max is, I think, in my opinion, more architectural stuff. Cinema 4D, which is primarily a motion graphics 3D uh, program. And then there's Blender, which Blender is free, uh, but I don't know that many people in the industry use Blender, at least not off the top of my head, don't quote me on that. But Blender is a great way to start. If you wanna do more motion graphic-y stuff, After Effects and Cinema 4D is definitely a good place to start. If you wanna do more visual effects stuff, Nuke and Maya are definitely great starters and After Effects underneath that. Obviously, Photoshop is great to know. I think Photoshop is a great base for anyone to start. So I think if you had to pick one to learn, you can start with Photoshop and branch out from there because it really does help broaden your mind. When it comes to tracking, Mocha can do so, so much. Mocha by Imagineer Systems is a commonly used tracking program. And when it comes to 3D camera tracking and match moving, Buju, Synthize, and PF Track are also industry standards. So if you learn all these programs and you have a solid grasp of how all of them work. You'll be a pretty well-rounded artist. Obviously, if you wanna specialize, you can dive deeper into these programs and learn more things within them. But this is just a brief overview of what I think beginners should sort of think about when they're learning. When you're a beginner and you're trying to figure out what you wanna learn, think about the field you wanna go into or the specifics. Check out my video on which visual effects artist should you be to figure that out. Once you have that in mind, you can determine the priority of which programs to learn over others. Like I said though, Learn all of them. If you can learn as much as you can, you're gonna be so ahead of the curve. Two programs that I think every VFX artist should know as honorable mentions to this list are DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. I hope this video helps a lot of you trying to figure out what programs you wanna learn. I think the best way to learn them is to open them up, start pressing buttons and start seeing what things do, playing with them, shooting your own stuff. Think about an effect you wanna do, go shoot it and then bring it into the program and try and make it happen. That's how I learned, that's how I think a lot of other people like to learn too, is just trial and error. There's also plenty of resources online which I can link to in the description below. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, make sure the bell's turned on for notifications so you never miss a video. I'm definitely gonna ramp up how many more videos I put out a week. I've got some more tutorial stuff coming, so stay tuned for that. Thanks guys.